Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name's Heather. Today I'm gonna to be making a item I found on TikTok and I'm so excited to share it with you. I thought it would be great to make for my sister's memorial service. So let's go ahead and get started. Here are all the items you are going to need. First of all, you're gonna need four of these four by six frames. Fairy lights are optional and didn't end up using it. A foam block some E6000 glue, which I also didn't use, a glue gun with some glue sticks, and the flowers of your choice. My sister's favorite color is blue, so I picked out a few of these pretty blue with purple and some white flowers. And then you're going to also need some pictures to go into your picture frames. Now the idea I saw of this was someone making a box like this with some Happy Mother's Day cards in it. However, I thought it would work out perfectly for this. So to get started, you need to take off all of the um, the stands, I guess. <laughs> I have no words right now. I'm not sure exactly what those are called, but you see that I'm taking these off and you're just gonna wanna complete that for all four. And then go ahead and put your photos of choice or like the idea that I saw, you could put greeting cards in them if you found some pretty ones. Next, you're going to want to lay a one down flat and then you're going to glue along the back side of the picture frame. And this is where the E6000 comes in handy if you want to use that alongside that to make it a little bit more sturdy, you can. But with the other picture frame laying flat, you're just going to hold it up against the side of it. And if you need to put something on there to stabilize it to make sure it's going to stay, stay straight up, then go ahead and do that as well. And then we're gonna repeat the process on the other side. Once that has had a few minutes to dry, I went ahead and put the foam block in the bottom and I was going to originally use this just as the base for this whole thing to sit on, but I ended up putting a um, piece of foam on the bottom later as you'll see. But I wanted to make sure that I had this foam cut down far enough. That way when I placed the other picture frame on there, it would lay flush and everything would be a perfect square. This next step you're going to want to work pretty quickly because the hot glue will dry before you get it completed, but I just ran the hot glue on each side of this picture frame and then quickly nestled it between the other two frames. Like I said, hot glue dries pretty quickly, so you have to move fairly fast so it doesn't dry before you can get it placed in there in its position. 
I also want to note not to use too much hot glue because mine did ooze through the cracks just a little bit. It's not super noticeable. Like I notice it because I'm the one who did it, but I'm sure no one at the service will notice and I'm going to try to remove some of it. But it didn't come through a lot. Just make sure that you're not using a ton of it really, really close to the edge of the outside. Um, and this is what it looks like. And you can just go ahead and put your flowers in. But I wanted to go ahead and work on a base. Like I said, you can just use that styrofoam as your base and be perfectly fine. But I wanted to give it a little added security. Also, I went back on the inside of where these are put together and added a little of hot glue around the corners just, again, for some added security. I didn't want it to mess up in transit and all of that stuff, but if you're making it just to put like on your dresser or anywhere to display in your house, then you don't have to do any of that. But like I said, I just wanted to go ahead and give that a little bit of security. Um, so that is what I am doing here. Here is that piece of foam board that I did pick up at the Dollar Tree that I'm just going to be cutting out to glue to the bottom. Again, I sound like a broken record, but you do not have to do this step. You could use cardboard if you wanted to. I will say if you do this and you're using a black one, the white edges will show and I will show you next in the clip in just a second that I did take some ribbon I had on hand in my craft drawer to cover that up because it just didn't look really pretty. I felt like if we were sitting down that it would just be staring at us um, to have all of those white edges showing. So I did cover it up with some really pretty ribbon. This is pretty inexpensive to make. I think I spent $8 on it total, not counting the photos or the ribbon. Uh, but if you do not have ribbon at home, the Dollar Tree has some really cute options. And of course you could always get the ribbon of your choice at Joann's. Hobby Lobby or Michael's. Here is the ribbon that I chose. I did get this at Hobby Lobby, but like I said, I did have it on hand already. And I just worked one side at a time, and in a few minutes you'll see that I used one of the silicone fingertips just to keep my skin protected. And when I completed this on each side, I ended up just cutting off the excess ribbon. You can always cut off the excess ribbon on each side, but I felt like leaving it connected until I was finished would give it a more polished look, I guess. So I didn't cut it off with each strip but I really like the way it turned out. Here is the finished product with the flowers in it. I thought it was so cute and you can use it for any occasion. You could use it for centerpieces at a wedding by adding the table number on each side with beautiful scrapbook paper. You could use it for baby showers, wedding showers, or to give a new mother for Mother's Day or just anything in general. Like the sky's the limit with this and I think it's so awesome. So thank you so much for joining me. Hope you all have a blessed day. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.